The story of an Oscar-nominated movie was retold in a Texas courtroom today by the widow of American sniper Chris Kyle. Testimony began in the trial of Eddie Ray Ralph, charged with the murder of Kyle and his best friend Chad Littlefield. Ralph's attorneys will try to prove he was insane. Chris Sargi is live outside the courthouse in Stephenville. And Chris, I understand you were there when Kyle's widow took the stand today. Yes, we were, Shannon, but there's so much publicity on this trial already. The judge wants to prevent any chance of a mistrial. So Taya Kyle's testimony could not be broadcast, but she talked proudly about her husband's service, their family life together, and also his motivation for writing American Sniper to give credit to others he served with. Then attorneys argued whether or not mental illness is responsible for his death. People lined up and crammed into the small Erath County Courthouse to see the next scene. How does the defendant plead? I guess you're right. Attorneys for Eddie Ralph say he took the lives of Chris Kyle and Chad Littlefield at a gun range 25 miles away, but the reason why was in his head. That he had to take their lives because in his psychosis, he was thinking they were going to take his. Littlefield was shot seven times, Kyle six times, most in the back, but at least one in the head. Ralph's attorney wrote out a history of mental illnesses, trips in and out of a psychiatric hospital, and how on the trip to the ranch, Kyle even noticed Ralph wasn't right. And he texts Chad Littlefield sitting right next to him. He texts him that this dude is straight up nuts. But prosecutors say the two best friends were there to help. Two best friends are going to befriend another man and spend time with him doing what men like to do. They told the jury that Ralph's actions after the killings, running from police, will show that he knew what he'd done and that there are some things even the mentally ill can still understand. To know right from wrong, to obey the law, and at the very least, not murder. Taya Kyle cried a little bit on the stand when pictures of her family were shown. She also relived the day her husband died and how she found out about the news. You can read a much more detailed description of that testimony on our website, kxan.com, by clicking on the Twitter stream, the live tweets that were coming from the courtroom. Also, ironically, today, two years to the day, Chris Kyle's memorial service was held, and also Chad Littlefield would have turned 38 today. We're live in Stephenville, Chris Sadegi, KXAN News.